Welcome everybody. Let's get started. If you'd like to sit with the legs in front of you, either cross-legged or half lotus, whatever feels comfortable. And now try to straighten the back. Uh, keep the head in line with the torso so the chin may need to be parallel to the ground. Slowly lift the shoulders and drop them. Release them. Relax the face by keeping the eyes gently closed, the lips hardly touching, swallow to relax your throat, and now bring your awareness to your breath, to your breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In the next three breaths, we are going to increase the length of inhalation and exhalation to four, and the retention is going to be a count of two. We'll do that three times and I'll count for you. So I start with an exhalation, inhaling, two, three, four, retaining, two, exhaling, two, three, four, Retaining, two, inhaling, two, three, four, retaining, two, exhaling, two, three, four, retaining, two, inhaling, two, three, four, retaining, two, exhaling, two, three, four, retaining, Two, and now continue normal breathing. Bring your awareness back to your body sitting. Gently open your eyes, straighten the back, and let's get started by warming up the back. Start with the lumbar area, just uh, with the hands resting on your knees. Draw a small circles with the chest one way. And slowly coming to a halt, changing directions, circles the other way. And coming to a halt, back to the center. Hold the upper ankle if you're sitting with your legs crossed. Warm up the middle of the chest, slowly bringing the chest forward and back. It's commonly the camel ride, this type of movement. And keep going with your own breath five more times. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. And coming to a halt. Bring your hands to rest on the knees, straighten the back once more, and let's warm up the cervical area, that's the neck area. By first inhaling, bringing the chin up, 
and exhaling, bringing the chin to the chest, gently push it in, inhaling, coming up once more, exhaling, chin to the chest, and slowly back to center, and now we're going to move sideways. First, bring the right ear towards the right shoulder, gently, with awareness on the neck. Slowly coming up to the left and coming up to the right and coming up to the left and coming up back to the center. Now gently we're going to turn the head sideways. First to your right as far as it's comfortable, making sure it's okay for the neck and slowly forward and to the left and slowly forward once more to the right and forward to the left and forward relax the neck bring the hands behind the back bring the legs out to the front and first, with the fingers pointing away, just rest. Give the legs a little shake. Gently push the heels so the legs are and stride with the toes pointing towards the ceiling. And slowly bending the toes one way and the other. One way and the other. And keep going. And coming to a halt. Now the feet towards the floor and away. Floor away and keep going. And coming to a halt. Both feet at the same time, we make circles one way. And coming to a halt, circles the other way. And coming to a halt, release. Bring the feet to the edge of the mat. And slowly bring the feet to the outside. And towards the inside. And outside. And inside. That side and hold them a bit longer. And listen, bring the legs together, sit up, interlock in the fingers behind the knee, bring the right knee up and push it against the chest. At the same time, straightening the back, keeping the head in line. Then slowly keep the leg up. Now tense those muscles in the leg, pushing with the heel, holding for a few seconds. And slowly bring the knee up. Now this time we're going to straighten the leg up. Like so. As far as you can. Then walk the hands and try to get the ankle and lift a bit more. Try to straighten the back and use hold and breathe. And slowly letting go. Bring the foot to rest on the thigh. Nursing the leg, lifting, and slowly from side to side. So now we are working on the hip joint. And come to a halt. Leg up, back, uh, foot to the ground, leg up, lean back, and relax for a breath or so. And try the other side, so sitting up. Interlocking the fingers and then the knee, bring the knee up, the uh, thigh against the chest and hold. And slowly kicking the leg, pushing with the heel, as you stretch with the calf muscle. 
and bending knee up and straighten the leg. Get the hands, get on the ankle, straighten the leg. The leg on the floor is active by pushing the heel, just holding the leg. And slowly releasing, bring the foot to rest on the thigh. Sit up, left the leg, and move it from side to side. And slowly coming to a halt. Foot to the ground, leg up, lean back, keep the legs on the chair. Now we go into the abdominal work. We do the half boat and then the full boat. For the half boat, we find the sitting bone, stride in the back, then lean back to have the feet one foot high. Bring the arms parallel to the ground with the palms facing down, hold nice and tight. If that is hard, you can always do one leg at a time, but bring, bring them closer to the floor. And at any time, if you had enough, just slowly lower the legs. And now lower the legs. Hands behind the back, lean back, and relax. The legs and the abdominal muscles. Now we're going to do one as a relaxation for the abdominal muscles that involves the wrists. So if you are weak with the wrists, do this slowly. So the fingers are pointing away. Bring the feet to the edge of the mat and slowly lift the buttocks off the mat. That's the beginning, then you can feel how your wrists are reacting. If you can go a bit higher, go a bit higher, and a bit higher, and just hold there. And slowly coming down. Sitting up, bring the arms to the front, give the hands a little shake to release any tension on the wrists. And now we do the full boat. Again, finding the sitting bone. We straighten the back, we lean back, get the balance, and then slowly lift the legs. This time, the toes are in line with the eyes. The arms parallel to the ground, palms facing each other, holding the hands and tight. And slowly coming down, hands behind the back. Lean back and relax. Now to really relax the abdominal muscles, we do a little table by bringing the knees up, feet on the ground, lifting the buttocks of the mat, and then slowly bringing the buttocks to the heels and releasing the abdominal muscles. And slowly back to sitting, legs up to the front, sitting up. And from there, we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. Very good for opening the hips. For this one, to begin with, doesn't matter how far or how close the heels are to the body. Just do that posture. Allow the knees to drop to the side. And then a little bit closer. Bring the heels closer to the buttocks or start walking the buttocks to the heels. Let go of the knees, straighten the back. Now we're going to make an effort to bring the knees towards the ground with the exhalation. So first we inhale, and as you exhale, push the knees towards the floor. Continue breathing normally. Now slowly we're going to bend forward, bringing the chest towards the toes, bringing the elbows in front of the shins. And keep going. And then when you have your limit, just stay there for a couple of breaths. Once your body starts relaxing, you can go a little bit lower and hold. And slowly coming up into sitting. Get the knees up and down in the butterfly to release it. And now let's do the pelvic floor exercises. When you tense and release the pelvic floor muscles, 
as fast or as slow as you like. Maybe try 10 times. Get started now. And let him go. Then release the feet, bring the left leg out. Have this foot against the thigh, pushing the knee towards the ground, facing the strike leg with both hips. So it's not like this, like that. Inhaling and exhaling, sliding the hand towards the toes, bringing the chest towards the thigh. Just hold it. To get there, you probably use the muscle power. But once you get there, then you can start releasing or relaxing the legs and it becomes more uh, tendon stretching. And slowly releasing and slowly coming down. And you change legs. So the left foot against the thigh, the knee to the ground, facing the straight leg, inhaling, exhaling, gliding the hand to get hold of the toes, aiming to bring the torso towards the knee. And a little bit lower. And slowly releasing, coming up. And then we're going to bring the legs to the first. Start in the back. We're going to bend forward by bringing the hands in front of the knees. Just to get used to the posture first. And then walk the hands a bit forward. And a bit forward. And aiming to keep the buttocks on the ground. And of course, far as is comfortable and hold. Now we are going to rotate the hands. Now move the hands towards the right knee uh, uh, in a circle. First inhaling, and we exhaling slowly. Walk the hands to the right, bringing the chest to be on, on top of the right knee. Just hold there. So that becomes a spinal twist. Good. And slowly releasing back to the center. Hold there for a breath. We'll do the opposite side. Inhaling, exhaling, hands to the left. And hopefully the torso in line with the thigh, the chin close to the knee. Hold it. And slowly. All the postures by rotating the torso, coming to all fours, towards the middle of your mat. And let's start with two cut stretches. Inhaling, lifting the chin, lifting the tail, bringing the chest towards the ground. And exhaling the opposite, bringing the back, seeing the back of the shoulders goes up, the neck is relaxed. Once more, inhaling. And exhaling. Back to the center. And now we're going to do a lift with the same movement, but lifting the right arm and the left leg. When you're ready, inhaling, bringing the left leg up, the right arm. The arm and the leg all have to be parallel to the ground, no higher. It's nice. Across the stretch, just holding there. And releasing back to our fours. And the other side, left arm, right leg. Holding, breathing. And slowly releasing back to all fours. So from all fours, we're going to do the pigeon. For the pigeon, we are going to bring the right knee forward between the hands. We are going to lower the buttock so the groin is close to the heel. The other foot, uh, the toes are pointing towards the back. Hands on either side. Slowly lifting the torso. 
Amida feels comfortable slowly breathing out. And slowly releasing the counter posture, bringing the chest to the side, bringing the arms out to the front, and if possible, bring the forehead towards the floor. And we're slowly coming up, hands on either side, tuck the toes under, and lifting, come back into all fours, and rest for a couple of breaths there. And now we are ready to do the left side. So left knee forward, between the hands, start in the right leg, lower the buttocks to the heels, hands on either side, slowly lifting the chest. And if comfortable, bring the chin up and hold it with. And as you exhale, slowly bring the chest to the side, arms to the front, forehead to the mat, and relax. And slowly coming up, hands on the other side, tuck the toes under, come back into all fours. From all fours, the knees are hip width apart, the toes are pointing away, and slowly we're going to bring the buttocks to the heels. Slowly so you have time to react, uh, to feel what your knees are doing. Is they comfortable or not? So you just go as far as it's okay. And slowly lift up into all fours. And once more, bring the buttocks to the heels. And maybe you can go a bit closer. And hold there. So now we're going to go up into that little table. And from there, having the thighs perpendicular to the floor, we're going to lower the torso to the floor into a uh, posture called dog on its knees. So lift, bringing the torso all the way down, arms up to the front, forehead to the mat, but buttocks up, and the thighs perpendicular to the floor, and hold, breathe, and eat. And slowly lifting, walk the hands back to be into all fours. So now we're going to go to dog face down and then dog in three legs. For the dog face down, first we tuck the toes under, maybe walk the hands a bit forward to the distance that you are either know or experiment with it. But the first thing we lift is the buttocks to the ceiling, as towards the ceiling as high as you can. Stretch the arms, spread the fingers out so the weight is well distributed. And then very slowly start trying, trying to bring the heels towards the ground. That will pull on the calf muscles so it's where you feel it. And then once you get there, just hold it, breathe it in. Now slowly walk the left foot towards the middle of the mat and slowly lift the right leg up. So you go up into dog with three legs. And slowly down. Back to all fours. Then bring the right foot to the center and slowly lift the left leg and again three-legged dog
And slowly bring the leg back. So you will end up with dog face down once more. And slowly bend the legs, bring the knees to the ground, and tuck the toes and kneel up. How are you going? Yes? Good? Bit too much? <laughs> so let's take a couple of breaths here. With the arms by the sides, take a deep inhalation combined with lifting the arms. So first exhaling, and as you start inhaling, also rise the arms, inhaling. When you get to the top, you have full inhale, hold the breath in, and exhaling. At the same time, let's bring the arms down, and release. We're going to bring the hands to the floor. We're going to tuck the, pick, the toes under and slowly lifting the knees to the side. We come into the squatting. Then from squatting, we can do a little balance by fixing the gaze on uh, something on the floor, like a little spot. And that is your reference point. Then you can start letting go of the arms and bring the elbows to rest on the knee. Hold, breathe in. And releasing the hands to the floor. Uh, lean a bit forward and then take the feet, keep feet apart and slowly straighten the knees. So you end up in a forward bend. Try to straighten the legs, release the arms so the hands are resting on the ground. And if not, well, don't worry too much, just hold the breathing. And now we're going to get up, but very slowly, so we don't get dizzy. First, we bend the knees a little bit, and then we pick the body up, bring the chin to the chest, and slowly come up. All the way up. And finally, the chin comes up. And then just walk towards the center of the mat. Give the legs a little shake, the arms a little shake. And then just a little swing from side to side. Like so. Shoulders relaxed. Slowly come to a hold. Back to this. Let's do a nice side stretch by bringing the feet maybe 10 centimeters apart. Try to be back by lifting the sternum, the hands resting on the sides, left arm up, inhaling, exhaling, gliding the hand towards the side, doing a side bend, hand, arm over head. So it's holding the And as you inhale, back to the center. Release the arms. Have a couple of breaths there. And try the right arm up. Stretch, left hand resting on the thigh. Inhaling, exhaling, gliding the hand towards the floor. Doing a side bend, arm overhead. And a little bit more. And inhaling. Come up. Now breathe at ease, bring the arms to the sides, give them a little shake, shake the legs. Bring the feet to the edge of your mat. Hands on the sides, maybe use them for balancing. We're going to do squat in two different levels. First, a little bit down, and just hold it. It's called the chair, the chair posture. So the back as straight as you can have it. All the pressure on the legs, and a bit lower. And a little bit lower. And just hold it.
and slowly bring the hands to the floor, bring the left knee to the ground, and bring the right leg forward. So you are kneeling on one knee, and this is going to be a hard one for the leg. What we are going to do is we are going to rest both hands on the knee, lift, uh, moving the foot forward, maybe you will see how much you need to adjust. But the pressure is going to be on the back leg by lifting the knee. So first tuck the toes under, and then when you're ready, lift the back knee up. Touch tight in the torso. And now your leg is working really hard. Hold there. And slowly bring the knee to the ground. Releasing, bring the hands to the other side. Back into the knee. Rest for a breath or so. And now bring the left leg forward. Bend. Tuck the back toes under. By now you know the distance between the foot and the toes. Whatever was worked for you the first. So about the same distance. Then slowly lifting. Bring the hands to rest on the knee. And when you're ready, slowly lift the knee off the mat. Working hard, straighten the torso. So again. And slowly lean back to the floor. From there, come back to all fours, and from there, lie down on your back for a short relaxation. So you're lying on your back. You are letting go of the left arm, the right arm, the left leg, the right leg. Front of body, back of body, shoulders and neck, and the whole face. Your eyelids gently close, your lips hardly touching, Relaxing all the facial muscles. And now bring your awareness to your breath. To your breathing in and breathing out. Bring your awareness back to your body lying on the floor. Open your eyes. Bring the arms back to the sides, arms on the floor, legs together. And just as a little warm up, tense the abdominal muscles, allowing the small of the back to come to the floor. And release. Once more, tense the abdominal muscles, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release. Now slowly bring the knees to the chest one at a time. 
wrap your arms around the knees and slowly squash the thighs towards the chest and hold. And squash a bit more and hold. For three that is, get with the breath. Inhaling, exhaling, lifting the head, bringing the forehead towards the knees. Take a little more and holding. Inhaling, head to the floor. Exhaling once more. Lifting the head forward to the knees and holding, 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 and slowly releasing the head to the floor. Now keep the knees where they are, release the arms, bring the palms to the floor, and then slowly straighten the legs so they are perpendicular to the floor with the soles facing the ceiling. Push with the heels and the toes towards the face. So the calf muscles, the thigh muscles are working. Hold them. Now using the hands for balance, if you need to, slowly we're going to bring both legs towards the right, about 45 degrees, and hold. And hold. Hold them. And slowly back to vertical. And uh, slowly towards the left, send 45 degrees and hold, hold, holding. And slowly back to the center. And then from there, we are going to bring the legs towards the floor. Again, 45 degrees or so. And then holding, 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 holding. Hold. And slowly back to vertical. Bend the legs, rest the feet on the ground, and relax. Now we're going to go up into a bridge with the palms resting on the ground by the hips, feet on the ground, and slowly start lifting the buttocks. Only a little bit to begin with. See how you feel, see how your body is reacting. If that feel, feels good, slowly lift up a bit higher and hold. Breathe at ease. And a little bit higher and hold. Breathe at ease. And slowly releasing. Bring the buttocks back to the floor. Bring the knees together. The side of the feet are together. Bring the arms up to the sides as in a cross with the palms on the floor. Then slowly bring the knees towards the uh, chest, at least far enough so that the feet are off the mat. Keeping both knees together, slowly bring both knees towards the right, towards the floor on the right. So it becomes a spinal twist with the abdominal muscle work. Just holding there as far as it's comfortable. If you can go all the way to the floor with the knees, by all means do that, and then you can relax the abdominal muscle. And slowly lifting, knees to the center. Hold for a breath. And slowly knees to the left, same distance if possible. Keep going. If you go to the floor, it's fine. And then hold and breathe. And slowly pick the knees up, back to the center. Bring your hands to get hold of the knees and gently squeeze. And now to massage the small of the back, we circle the knees one way. And slowly coming to a halt, we circle the other way. And slowly coming to a halt, 
slowly roll to your right. Once the knees are on the floor, slowly come up into sitting. How are we going? Good? Yeah? Okay. All right, let's lie on the front with the hands on the chin, the toes pointing away, just let them go. And slowly lifting the chin off the mat and holding. Now slowly we're going to look to the right, see if we can see the heels. So gently look into the right. Only go so this is comfortable for the neck. Hold. And slowly forward. And slowly to the other side, to the left. And holding. And slowly forward. And releasing, bring the chin back to the hands and the left. Now we're going to go to the Sphinx by lifting the torso, bringing the elbows under the knees, keeping the forearms on the ground, spreading the fingers out, belly button is still on the mat, and slowly lifting the torso as far as is comfortable, making sure the small of the back is okay. And if that feels good, slowly lift the chin. And releasing slowly back to the floor, hands under the chin and relax. Bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes under, come up into all fours. Now we're going to do a posture, I don't think we have done it, yeah, maybe once we did it. It's uh, designed to make the muscles around the shoulder blade relax. And from this posture of four, all fours, we're going to bring the left arm underneath and we're going to bring the left shoulder towards the ground and put a bit of weight, when you put the weight, then that's where you stretch the muscles along the, uh, the scapula, it's called the shoulder blade, just holding there. And slowly coming up, back to all fours. And from there to the right goes under. Shoulder to the ground, cheek to the ground, nice stretch, hold and breathe. And releasing, come back into all fours. There are two more things we're going to do. There's a spinal twist, for the spinal twist, and the, um, the cut. So let's start with the cut where we are in all fours. Inhaling, lifting the tail, chest towards the ground, bringing the chin up. And exhaling the other way. Once more inhaling, exhaling, and releasing back to the center position. Now we bring both knees to the right, and tuck the toes, bring the buttocks towards the heels, and when you are kneeling, bring the buttocks to the floor. And now we're going to bring the upper leg across the other leg, the bottom leg. So that's the first part. Next one is the opposite arm hugs the knee. So opposites, remember opposite. The free arm behind the back, hand on the floor lifting. That's one, yeah? And then the, the, other, the other arm hugging. No, the, yeah, but you did the other arm. Yes. <laughs> you left arm, that's it. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, you're okay, <laughs> sorry. 
That's it, fine. And then the free arm behind the back, propping, straightening the body, inhaling, and with the exhalation, twist the upper torso or the torso towards the right and hold and breathe. And slowly releasing back to the center, legs back to the side. So we are kneeling on the right, so now we are going to kneel on the left. Buttocks to the heels, buttocks to the floor, upper leg across, nice cross leg, opposite arm hugging, opposite arm hugging, same side arm behind, propping the body, inhaling, <laughs> exhaling. That's it. Just twist. And slowly releasing, back to the center, back to kneeling, kneeling the center of your mat. Keep the big toes together, bring the knees to the edge, but lower the buttocks to the heels, and then lower the torso to the ground into extended torso by child. Pour it to the mat and relax. And slowly we are coming back to sitting. And now choose a nice comfortable sitting position. We do one breathing exercise. We'll do a short meditation. And finally we'll do a relaxation. So make sure that you're feeling good. If you need to cover yourselves now, it's your time. Rest your hands on your knees, straighten the back. Now we'll do the same exercise as we did before. Three deep breaths. How it works is the slower the breath, the slower the way you breathe, the more relaxed you are. So by slowing the breath intentionally, you work on the emotional side, which then says, I need to relax because I'm breathing heavy or <laughs> big breaths. So breath works well that way. So we'll do three at the same uh, inhalation and exhalation to the count of four and retention to the count of two. So exhaling, inhaling, two, three, four, retaining, two, exhaling, two, three, four, retaining, two, inhaling, two, three, four, Retaining two, exhaling two, three, four, retaining two, inhaling two, three, four, retaining two, exhaling two, three, four, retaining two, inhaling two, three, four, retaining two, exhaling, two, three, four, retaining, two, and now continue normal breathing. If you need to adjust your body, do so. We'll sit there for three or four minutes. The idea is to let go of any thoughts that come to your mind by bringing the awareness back to the to the breathing in and the breathing out.
Draw your line on your back. Relaxing the legs, allowing the feet to drop towards the side. The arms away from the body if possible. With the palms facing upwards, but keeping the shoulders relaxed. Swallow to relax your neck and relax the face. Allow, allow the whole body to sink into the ground. Trust in gravity. And bring your awareness to your breath, to your breathing in and your breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And now we are going to rotate the awareness to major parts of the body, synchronizing the awareness with the breath. Starting with the right arm, bring your awareness to the tips of the fingers and move that awareness to the shoulder as you inhale and from the shoulder to the fingertips as you exhale and keep going. Now shift your awareness to the left arm, from the tips of the fingers to the shoulder as you inhale, and shoulder to fingertips as you exhale, and keep going. Now shift the awareness to the right leg, from the toes to the hip as you inhale, and hip to toes as you exhale, and keep going. Shift your awareness to the left leg, from the toes to the hip as you inhale, and hip to toes as you exhale, and keep going. Now shift your awareness to the front, from the pelvic floor to the forehead as you inhale, forehead to pelvic floor as you exhale, and keep going.
Now shift your awareness to the back. As you inhale from the tail to back of head, and as you exhale from back of head to the tail, and keep going. And now shift the awareness to the whole body. From the soles of the feet as you inhale, all the way to top of head, and from top of head to soles of the feet as you exhale. And keep going. And now bring your awareness to your breath at the tip of the nostrils. And in your mind, count your breaths backwards from 24. Repeating in your mind as you breathe, 24 I'm inhaling, 24 I'm exhaling. 23 I'm inhaling, 23 I'm exhaling and keep going. Bring your awareness back to your body lying on the floor. Become aware of the sounds around you. Become aware of other people around you. And now it's time to wake the body up by gently moving the toes, the feet, the legs, the fingers, the hands, the arms the head from side to side. Exhaling and with the next inhalation, as you inhale, slowly lift the arms, stretch up, stretch the legs, take a yawn or just a deep breath. And at your own time, bring the arms back to the sides. Slowly bring the knees to the chest, wrap your arms around the knees and gently rock from side to side a few times.
and legs roll to your right and slowly come up into sitting. And from here, sitting with the legs crossed, resting the hands on the knees. This is all gentle, wake up. Slowly straighten the back, inhaling, exhaling, bring the chin towards the right knee. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, chin towards the left knee. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, bend forward, bring the hands, palms up under the knees. Allow the back to relax, bring the chin to the chest, breathe in. And with an inhalation, slowly come up into sitting, bring the arms by the sides, and one more inhalation, raising the arms, stretching up, holding the breath in, exhaling, hands in a prayer position. Thank you very much for coming today. Have a lovely week. I'll see you next Monday.